Last month, Alberta Health Services released details about a surge in HIV cases. Between 2022 and 2023, Edmonton saw a 73% increase. That's just a number. With an illness that has been surrounded by stigma and misinformation for decades, we want to add some context to what is happening now. So Catherine Broomfield is the executive director of HIV Edmonton. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Nancy. Do those numbers reflect what you're seeing at HIV Edmonton? I think they do. And I, it can be alarming. And what I would like to get across to the audience is that it's important that we are reminded through these stats that HIV is an illness that is still present. It's here. While it's manageable, um, folks can still be uh, susceptible and at risk of transmission. Can you provide some context to that? When we're looking at 73%, who is this affecting? Broadly, anyone who is engaged in sexual activity unprotected is at risk. Uh, people who may use substances. There's five ways that HIV can transmit, and that's through blood, through um, breast or chest milk, through anal, vaginal, or penal secretions. And so if you're coming in contact with those methods, then that's a, a risk for transmission or acquisition of HIV. A lot has changed in the past few decades, you know, um, um, when it comes to HIV treatment. Can you walk us through that? Because it's, it, you know, we hear like it's no longer a death sentence, is it? Yes, and that's often the phrase that people will remember from the 80s is that an HIV or at that time an AIDS diagnosis was a death sentence. And now the progress in science is phenomenal. So a person living with HIV who knows their status is, and is on treatment is it's, it's not possible for them to transmit HIV to their sexual partner. Someone with HIV on their medication who has that suppressed viral load cannot transmit HIV to anyone. So when we're looking at these increased numbers, when we have that kind of technology, where do you think the disconnect is happening? Well, I think... Um, the, again, the numbers, it's important to be aware that numbers are increasing. That's not just in Edmonton, that's globally. Um, so I did check that in 2023, there were 1.3 million new HIV uh, acquisitions or, or transmissions. So that's 1.3 million people who acquired HIV. And for a virus that if you know your status, and you are taking the treatment, the antiretrovirals, you are managing that virus, and it essentially is unreadable, undetectable in your uh, blood system. And so the um, being able to have that treatment, have the access to it, we are blessed here in Alberta that uh, Alberta Health covers PrEP, which is a preventative uh, measure for folks who feel that they might be at risk of HIV transmission. Um, and so focusing in on prevention, on educating people, on perhaps making folks aware of those uh, stereotypes or biases that maybe linger from the 80s, that HIV can impact any one of us. And so therefore, being aware of your status and getting tested is actually a really empowering thing for a person to do. Just quickly before we let you go, coming up, we have this. So we have the red ribbons here, and then we have the rock, the ribbon as well. So this is, can you tell me just yes, quickly so about this here too? World AIDS Day is coming up, it's December 1st. Mm -hmm. Anyone is welcome to come by our Red Ribbon building. Uh, we are doing an open house between uh, noon and four. But what we're asking folks to do is tie on a red ribbon um, and help show that you uh, are educating yourself, that you are not adding to stigma and discrimination around um, HIV, those who are living with HIV. Yeah. Catherine, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very happy to be here. Thanks, Nancy.